My name is Eric Van Eiderson. I am the current director of cardiac rehabilitation at the main campus of Cleveland Clinic. And I'm here today to talk to you about phase two cardiac rehabilitation and what exactly this means for you if you've recently had a major cardiovascular event, okay, involving either open heart surgery, if you have heart failure, if you've had to experience a stent, if you have something what we call angina or severe chest discomfort, or if you've unfortunately had to experience a heart transplantation or left ventricular assist device implantation, these are all classical indications for phase two cardiac rehabilitation to be performed in the outpatient setting, uh, preferably uh, under the direct guidance of cardiac rehabilitation specialists. And if you're wondering, uh, whether cardiac rehabilitation is something for you, even if you've had one of these major cardiac events and you've typically been an avid exerciser and uh, believe you understand what you should be doing for exercise, I still recommend that you talk to your doctor and at least have an initial interview or a consultation with the cardiac rehabilitation team to discuss what exactly is cardiac rehabilitation beyond just performing exercise in a controlled setting such as the main campus here at Cleveland Clinic. I want to emphasize that cardiac rehabilitation is not just exercise, but it is an overall preventive cardiology plan that incorporates exercise as it relates to heart healthy behaviors, including diet, nutrition, understanding portion control, understanding the importance of adherence to your medications, and understanding how you can make heart healthy lifestyle choices that have a long-term and lasting impact on your heart health, but also your cardiovascular health of your entire body. Now, cardiac rehabilitation is traditionally uh, set to be a three-month plan uh, in totaling 36 supervised exercise training sessions, but that the goal is really to instill the principles of cardiac rehabilitation and preventive cardiology so that you can continue to practice in a self-managed way cardiac rehabilitation for the rest of your life. Now, to help you along with this, education is widely available to you regarding all types of topics relating to exercise, physical activity, diet, nutrition, understanding your medications, how you take them, when you take them, and also the risks associated with things like exercise and physical activity. Because it is important to understand that what you may have done in the past isn't something that could be appropriate for you at the moment after having experienced a major cardiovascular event. Now that isn't meant to tell you that you may never reach past levels of exercise, but it is important to understand that your goals for the interim do need to be modified so that they are safely and appropriately aligned with your rehabilitation process, the post-op recovery process, and setting you on the right path to achieve short-term and long-term goals. Now, it is important that uh, you discuss the uh, overall uh, accessibility of cardiac rehabilitation with your doctor, understanding what insurance limitations uh, that are involved with cardiac rehabilitation, but that uh, typically, uh, if you experience one of those major cardiovascular events, uh, your insurance should provide coverage and that you may be responsible for a copay each time you come into the rehab setting. Now, if you may have certain financial limitations, there are programs here at the Cleveland Clinic that uh, may qualify you for financial assistance regarding this comprehensive 36 session or 12 week uh, exercise therapy uh, that's performed uh, as soon as possible after being discharged from the hospital. 